Hey guys, welcome to Red's Projects. Today, an exciting day. We're gonna get this thing running. And like, I've already had this motor running in my shed on the ground, but it's now in a car. It's got a better car beat. It's got that full fancy exhaust I made for it. So really excited to hear it run in here. And I've got more accessories this time. I might even, even have water running through it this time. So made myself a little list so far. Um, last night I did the belt, so I'll tick that off. Got, I want to put exhaust gaskets on the manifolds, put these guys on so it doesn't have that kind of crappy ticky sound and the manifolds shouldn't have to come off after this. So get that out of the way. Uh, fuel system, I started plumbing up some hoses to get some hose clamps and stuff for them. And I got a Aeroflow fuel pressure rig, a bypass one. So I should be able to use this with my little $30 EFI pump, but we'll see how that goes. So I'll plumb that up. MSD, obviously I've got to wire that back up, um, just temporary for the meantime. Oil pressure gauge, I want to make sure I've got oil pressure. So I'll do the same thing. I'll dummy uh, temporary wire that up. Um, obviously starter mode, I need to run a power wire to that. And if I have time, I want to plumb up the radiator because I got enough bits and pieces. I should be able to plumb up the radiator if I want to put water in it. So that would be nice as well. I can run it a little bit longer without getting worried about doing shit to it. So that's what's in store today. I'm really excited. Should be having a mate coming over real soon. So it's going to be a good day. All right. So first things first, I'm going to put these exhaust gaskets in. Got some fresh bolts. And look who's arrived. Shep, how you going, mate? Hey, mate. You ready to hear this thing run? Hell yeah. Let's I, get it I, I definitely am. So now that I've got my helper, we can start working and we can knock this over real quick. Should be able to drop the gasket in straight that way. All right, so I got on my side done, coils, leads, all ready to go. Shep's just putting the coils on that side. And it dawned on me that the other day, I broke one of the leads. I pulled the metal part off. Luckily, I know where to find one. Hello, Tony's Monaro. Sorry, Tony, I need this. All right, so exhaust gaskets are done. We're onto the fuel system. So I've got to mount this somewhere. I was thinking of putting it around there-ish. So I've got to mount that, plumb these lines, get some hose clamps, plumb up the factory feed and return. And I've got to try and get the last of the 91 out of the tank because I've got jerry can full of 98 ready to go. So we can get that done. So I think to, to mount the reg where I want to put it there, it might be easier just to undo the one, two, three, four, five, ten bolts and take the whole manifold off. Then I can drill straight into the firewall. So let's put the manifold off and get that done. Just for the record, that's how hot it is out here. All right, got the fuel pressure rig mounted. Before I put the lines on, I want to get the old fuel out of the tank and I don't want to smell like old fuel while I'm having lunch. So we're going to go to Repco, get some hose clamps, because I need about eight or 10 of them and go get some lunch. So let's go for a drive. You haven't been in this car since I've turbo, have you? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I only went in it when you bought it. Okay. It's a little fun. Yeah. 
All right, we're back from our lunch break. Went to Repco, got enough hose clamps, plus more. So we should be able to sort all that out. And we just got all the fuel out the tank, out this line. So now plumb these two up to the regulator. So it'll be in and return. We'll put the manifold back on, then I'll plumb up all those lines and then we'll um, set our pressure and move on to the ignition. Alright, we've got fuel pressure, so fuel system is done, ready to go. We'll get the MSD, oil pressure switch and some wiring set up and we should be ready to fire this thing up. It's now 39.8 degrees. 39.8 degrees. <laughs> In the shade. Alright. Driver, I'm guessing that's the American driver. That's ignition wide. What we gotta do is put, put them two together and when we wanna stop it, we've gotta pull one of them off. So now we need to put power to the starter motor and that's it. It'll start, I think. Well, All right, we've got wheel pressure gauge wired up, the MSD's wired up, we've got some wires for our starter. Um, the battery is a bit weak, so you may not have enough juice to start it, but we're ready for attempt number one. All right, give it a go. No. No, stop, stop. All right, attempt two with a bigger earth leak. All right, give it a go. Cranking good. Um, there's one lead I forgot. Well, that explains it. Works better with this lead on. This picks up the, <laughs> the sensors. That one. All right. Temp three. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Yeah. Say. That's it. Go for it. two attempts four or five um, the oil pressure gauge the earth wasn't really right and it wasn't giving us a reading and I was getting freaked out because I thought there was no oil pressure but there is oil pressure it's good okay fuel pump yes Attempt 63,000. Uh, crank it.
How good does that sound? After Phil, the next time we started for Al. Woo! Man, that, when you really gave it, <laughs> that's loud. That's awesome, yeah. That's what you want. That's what you want. You want a quiet and idle? Yeah. Loud up top. Alright, let's fire it up one last time. Very happy with how it sounds. It's actually pretty quiet and mellow down low, so I don't think I'm gonna to have to put another muffler on it. I might just put some 45s facing down and just leave it the way it is. Sounds great up top. It's gonna to sound so good on the road. So very happy. We finally got it running, worked through some issues. This oil pressure gauge has still been a bit funny. I earthed out one of the wires and it's been funny now, so I might have stuffed that up. But very happy to get this running. I'll put the radiator in it soon. Um, we need that. Uh, thank you, Shep. Thanks for giving us a hand. Just couldn't have done it without you. Thanks, Violet, for filming a little bit. It was a good day. Very good day. So, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.